Hey there, everybody. Good morning. You almost caught me with a uh, cup of coffee in my hand. Uh, trying to get caught up on my coffee consumption this morning. I'm a little bit behind, but that's okay. Let me dock that up there just a tad. There we go. Sorry. Hey, Joe. Good morning to you. By the way, I did go back and look at, at the Facebook feed and Abby beat you yesterday. So at any rate, be that as it may. Keith, good morning. I just had a conversation with one of your uh, fellow Englanders. I don't even know what you call them. Um, talking to a guy about a piece of software over there. And, well, he's he's in England somewhere. I didn't even ask him where he was. Anyway, those 6 o'clock phone calls are awesome. <laughs> hey, Abby, good morning. To you as well. Ah, we're getting a pretty good bunch in here this morning. Listen, if you uh, happen to be listening on your favorite podcast catcher or maybe watching on YouTube, head over to 7minutesinthemorning.com. Join the conversation that's going on here with all these awesome folks as they hop in. And uh, yesterday, as is true most days, uh, that conversation continued well on into the day as folks continued to watch the replay, leave their comments their thoughts on our topics uh, that we're covering. So let's get to work because today is Tuesday. That means I got to hustle up and get out of here, go do the radio show at the top of the hour. Yesterday, uh, happiness and success. Uh, the promise was happiness and success yesterday. Today I want to talk about the F word because it is uh, lack of the F word that is keeping you from progress, preventing you from making progress, preventing you from getting the results that you're looking for. Yesterday's homework was to think of, not think of, acknowledge. Because when I ask this, instantly you get the answer. It's just most of us try to compromise off of that answer. But what's something that you've been trying to accomplish, a result you've been trying to create that you just can't seem to get it done? Hey, Brooke. Uh, fulfillment? Yes, fulfillment, happiness, fulfillment, success, all of those things. They're, they're, oh, no, that's not the F word, though. I got you. <laughs> that's not the F word that we're after. So when I ask you if there's something you've been trying to accomplish that you just can't seem to get done, most people know it right away. They say, yeah, but I want to work on something else. That's part of the problem. See, up here... We're able to rationalize anything away to ourselves. Yeah, that, I just need to, you know, I just need to get that one done. I need another problem. You know, I need Tom to help me with another problem. Let's go ahead and pull that one on in here, folks. That's the one that you need to work on. That's the one that for whatever reason, and I'm going to give you the first reason this morning, but for whatever reason, you're just not able to get it done, right? And Brooke's ahead of me. She's got it figured out. The F word that I want to talk about today is focus, but not in a way that we've ever talked about it before. All right? What is, everybody tells you focus, right? You just got to put your head down and focus. How many times do you hear that in school? Right? You're studying for a big task, big exam. Oh, I just got to put my head down and focus. All right. Well, all you have to do to paint the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel is paint. So... Why hadn't everybody done that? See, knowing what you do, what you have to do, not that complicated. It's how you do it that presents a problem for a lot of folks. All right. So let's think about this for just a second today. Actually, um, about three more minutes. <laughs> Focus is here here's my definition of focus right focus is the application of time energy and attention to an outcome all right the application of time energy and attention to an outcome makes sense right that's what focus is if i am if i'm super focused on studying for this exam on creating this web page on whatever the case may be right I'm spending time on it, that I'm applying my energy and my attention is super focused. In fact, every time we get into a flow state, focus has to pre, uh, precede flow, right? 
We'll talk about flow later. So why is this a problem then? Why is focus such a problem? If we can understand that it's just time, energy, and attention, well, three things. And what I've usually, well, it's, it's those three things, the sweet tea. <laughs> Not sweet. I like sweet tea. The tea, time, energy, and attention. We know we need to devote time to it. And in fact, a big chunk out of the Fast Five program is about how you devote time to creating an outcome. Right? You got to make it a priority. You've got to get rid of all the other stuff that distracts you. You got to apply time. Use the Pomodoro method, block method, whatever you want to. Allocate time. That's number one. Right? Then you have to apply energy. You can't, you can't start working on a project when it's, you know, 11 o'clock at night and you're already sleepy and ready to go to bed. You have no energy left for that. That's why I get up five-ish in the morning. It was rainy out today, so I slept in a little bit. But that's the time when I have the energy to apply to these things, and that's where the results come from. Not to mention the fact that I did have a phone call at 6 o'clock this morning, but that was unusual. Almost never interrupted in that five to seven time frame. So now I've got uninterrupted time. I've got plenty of energy, right? If you don't have energy, just go out and jump rope or something for a minute. Do a, do a seven minute hit training. That'll get you all the energy you need. And, but then, and here's the final one, attention. And this is the one that is the hardest for us because, ooh, a squirrel, right? Bright, shiny things. Well, yeah, I want to take this path, but what if some people will like that? So I need to, I need to cover that case. Oh, and then I know, I know Earl, he's really going to want this option. So I have to throw that option in there before. MVP people, minimum viable product. Is it going to be the minimum viable product for everybody? No. That's why we're super targeted on a small group of people. And even in that small group of people, it's not going to work for everybody. But if it works for the majority, the middle of the bell curve, you're ready to go. So time. Now, I'm telling you how I do it. I get up in early, earlier in the morning so that I have time, I have the energy, and I can give it my full attention. Now, you know, the, the, the other attention thing kind of goes back to what I know you've heard me say before. You have to know the outcome and say no to the things that don't get you there. You have to, you have to constantly be pushing things away, right? Movies. I mean, we all like to watch these, you know, deleted scenes and whatnot for movies. You think they recorded them for fun? I mean, they're expensive to record and create, right? But then ultimately they wind up cut out of the movie. Why is that? Because they don't serve the plot. Right? If what you're doing today does not serve the plot, does not get you to the outcome that you are desperately trying to create, stop doing it. Stop doing it. Apply your attention, time, energy, and attention. Apply your attention to the things that create the results that you want. That's it. Time, energy, and attention. So here's my question for you today. Out of those three, time, energy, and attention, which one is the hardest for you to control? Do you have better control over your time, better control over your energy, or better control over your attention. I'd be interested to hear your answer because I think, uh, well, I definitely know what my answer is. <laughs> my answer is attention. It's, oh, another squirrel. It, it, there's always something, right? There's always one more feature. There's always a new piece of software. It's always something, right? Attention is the one that I have the hardest time with. What's Which one do you have the hardest time with? Time, energy, or attention? Those three things make up focus. Focus is what gets you toward progress, and progress is what ultimately 
get you to your result. Remember, the radio show is coming up at the top of the next hour, 8 o'clock. You can listen locally here in Huntsville, 1450 AM, 1053 FM. That's a new frequency on the FM dial. Or you can just join us on Facebook, talkradioforentrepreneurs.com, get you to the right page. (laughs) No fires today, Keith. Hopefully, he said with his fingers crossed, no fires today. All right. Uh, talk radio for entrepreneurs, get you, dot com, get you to the right Facebook page. You can just join in the conversation here. And if for whatever reason you're not, not able to make it, watch the replay and for sure be back here tomorrow for another installment of seven minutes in the morning. You guys take care and have a terrific Tuesday. 